Hey, here's a quickie demo on selecting the uh, affected portions of Emigration Creek. So what I've done here is I've just added the an HD streams layer and then I have my rupture point. Um, you could add a base map to see where the mountains are to determine that the water is actually flowing this way. It's a little bit weird because Emigration Creek does actually uh, go underground here. Um, so it's, it's a little bit weird, but um, here's the rupture point. The water is flowing downhill. So what you should do is grab the selector key. You can't use the select elements, and if you hover over these, um, it gives you the names. But the select feature is what you want to use. Um, and I would also recommend zooming way in. But the reason that we're doing this is if we wanted to precisely get the affected um, portion, you can see that if we grab or select, oh boy, arc is quick today. Um, this segment of the river going down, um, the rupture happens here and so if we pull this whole thing we're going to be overestimating the length of stream that's affected and upstream probably isn't effective so that's not even really true. You could uh, kind of skimp a little bit and just skip this segment and just select all of these going downhill um, but that's also not quite as, um, you know, um, that's, it's just not as correct as we'd like to be about it. So the idea would be to cut this one right here and select these two together. So to do that you have to have something selected, you have to have some element selected, and then you need to be editing. The fastest way to do that is to right click on the feature that you want to edit and um, edit features, start editing. That makes sure that that thing is editable and you really don't have to you know, kind of pick your folder or workplace or anything like that. Alright, so with that highlighted, an editing session started. I know that it's editing because it switched to my little editor tool. Um, I can go over to the split tool, which just changes things for me. It's going to allow me to snap to that rupture point. If I just click on it, notice that it becomes unhighlighted. But with my editor tool, um, if I try and grab one of those pieces, you can see that, that it's now been cut there. So. What I should probably do now is um, stop editing and save my edits. And then it's about selecting. So I need to go back to my select and my select features. And using the shift key, I can click there, I can click here, and I can kind of cumulatively add to that. And then I can keep scrolling downstream, um, or panning, I should say. Another thing you could do is zoom out a little bit, or a lot. We're not going to pick up any of these um, little spurs that go off here, but I could clear the selection by just clicking off somewhere. And just know that you can also grab a rectangle like this, and it'll pick up everything in there. And if I um, use the shift key, it doesn't actually add to it, that's kind of lame. Um, Oh, that's weird. It really should. Will control allow me to? Oh yeah, so weird. Control allows you to... No, it doesn't. That's really weird. <clears throat> well, shift will allow you to go in and add these pieces. I thought you could um, pull rectangles. Uh, but we're going to want to zoom in and just make sure we've gotten all the pieces. So I still haven't gotten that little guy. and then quickly pan down. Whoopsie. That's not what I wanted. Yep, none of the spurs, none of the tribs. And we're good to go. Okay. So then what you want to do to get this as its own kind of shape file so you can work with it independently, symbolize it independently, would be to click on this with the proper selection and um, data, export data. It's going to allow you to take the selected features and um, basically create a new shape file out of them. You can use the source data for this because it's in the correct coordinate system. Um, you just want to make sure you put it in the right place. Um, I'm not going to do this, but I would use the browse button even if it looks correct. Sometimes it defaults to something that won't work in here, like default geodatabase or something like that. So you need to make sure this is a shape file, and then um, navigate to the proper folder. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Um, if not, let me know and.
yeah, thanks for the question.